Hi everyone. So today we're going to look at how do we multiply and divide rational expressions and we're looking at the basic ones. Okay. So first thing we need to do is we need to see what steps um, must be taken in order to simplify this rational expression. So the first step is to um, factor completely, right? So factor completely. And make sure every term has been factored completely. And then second is we can apply cross canceling. Okay, cross canceling. All right, so let me just shut my phone off so you don't get disturbed. Okay, and now <clears throat> let's see. Since all of the terms are monomials, there's nothing really to factor. So now we can just go right into cross canceling. All right, I'm going to recopy this. B cubed over 6 times, six times 3B squared over negative 10. Okay. Now we see here that, again, 5 and 6 do not have any common factors. Neither does 3 and 10. However, if we cross cancel this, 5 goes into 10 twice, right? So negative 5 goes into itself once, and negative 5 goes into negative 10 twice. Likewise, using cross-canceling, 3 goes into itself once, 3 goes into 6 twice. And I think that's it, right? That's all you can cross-cancel. And now we just multiply across. And then the rest is just multiplying across. Okay, that's our step 3. So we have what here? b cubed times b squared. Again, when you're multiplying powers that have the same base, add the exponents. So it's 3 plus 2 is 5. And then 2 times 2 is 4. And here is our simplified expression. So let's type that in. We have b to the fifth over 4. Okay. And the question to ask you is, for the result to be equivalent to the original expression, can it be defined at b equals 0? Yeah, well, we have no problem with b being 0 because we see that we only have the b variables in the numerators, right? Same thing with the final expression. So we don't have to worry about anything being undefined. So nothing, it's never going to be undefined. We only have numbers in the denominator, right? So that is correct. Okay, let's see another one. Again, here we have a division. So when we have a division, okay, we have to add one more step, right? Keep, change, flip, correct? Keep, change, and flip. And then, of course, we factor completely. In this case, they're all monomials, so we don't need to do anything completely. Okay, third step, again, is cross-canceling. Cancel. And then final step is multiply across. Okay. So let's follow these four steps. Keep change flip. So keep the first, keep the first expression exactly the way it is. Change. So we kept the first expression. Change the division into a multiplication. And then flip our second expression. So this is might be 3 over negative 8. Okay, and so our keep change flip is done. Now, everything is factored. Everything is just a monomial. So again, there's nothing to factor, right? So we've done that, we've done that. Cross cancel. Now, we 18 and 5, they don't have common, common factors. Neither does 3 and 8. Um, so I think we can get away with 8 and 18, right? So let me change the color. Um, 8 as 18 is 9 and 2. So maybe 2, okay? So 2 goes into, um, what is it? 2 goes into negative, negative 4 times. 2 goes into 18, 9 times. And I think that's all we can do, really. Wow, this is terrible. Okay, and then the x to the fifth, right? This is x to the fifth. This is x. So we're dividing x to the fifth over x, correct? x to the fifth on the top, x on the bottom. When we're dividing 
powers with the same bases, we subtract their exponents, right? So this is now going to be x to the fourth, and that's going to disappear. This x goes away. And so we have now, we've done this, cross-canceling, so now let's multiply across, right? We've done these two as well. So 9 times 3 is 27. We have x to the fourth on the top. And then we have 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. And I believe that is our simplified result. So let's type that in. 27x to the fourth over negative 20. Okay. And now the second part says, for the result to be equivalent to the original connection, can it be defined at x equals 0? Well, unfortunately, once you flip this, now you have an x in the denominator, correct? So even though that x disappeared in the final expression, we still had an x in the denominator. And if that x is ever, was ever 0, this whole thing's undefined. So unfortunately, we cannot. Okay? In the original expression, we were okay. There was no, there were no variables in the denominator. However, in our, when we manipulated this for a keep change flip, now we had an x in the denominator, and therefore we know x can't be zero, or else that whole thing becomes undefined. Okay, let's do another one. Um, okay, let's multiply again. So multiplying here, uh, no keep change flip because it's already a multiplication. Remember, factor completely. Two cross cancel and three multiply across correct so factor completely again everything is factored because they're all monomials nothing to do cross cancel so let's cross cancel cancel here 14 a to the sixth over three so it looks like well these aren't these are not going to cancel neither are these but across yes so 3 goes into 18 six times, right? And 7 goes into 14 twice, right? And then a times a to the 6, you just add the exponents. There's a 1 here, so it's just going to be 7. So 6 times 2 is 12, a to the 7th, and there's nothing in the denominator. It's 1 times 1. So there it is. Okay? And so our final answer is 12a to the 7th. Again, can a ever be equal to zero? Again, in the original, there were no a's in the denominator, so we're good. And even in the in the simplified forms, there are no a's. Yes, absolutely. And then finally on this problem set, uh, it says divide the following expressions and simplify the result. So again, here we know we have to apply keep change flip because it's a division. So keep change flip. Okay, and then we have to factor completely, and then we have to cross cancel, and then finally multiply across. Okay, so keep change flip. Here we go. Negative 8b to the fourth over 3 times 3b squared over negative 4. Okay, so check. Keep change flip. And then next is factor completely. Well, again, they're all monomials, so we're, we're good with that. Cross cancel. Again, these don't cancel, these don't cancel, but definitely these guys will cancel, right? And then negative 4 goes into negative 8 twice. All right, and let's write our final expression here. So it's going to be 2, and this is 1 as well. So 2 times, and then b to the 6th. And that's it. 2b to the 6th. So 2b to the 6th. Question? Uh, can b ever be equal to zero? Well, yes, in this expression, right? There's no b's here, but in the original, we had b squared in the denominator, and that's going to be that's going to go to zero, making that term undefined. So, unfortunately, no. Hey okay, guys. All right. Take care.